Hey, hey, long time no see. Um, finally, finished reviewing all of the Ace 5 count series and put together the summary. Uh, <clears throat> just about every shoe I made some sort of mistake. That's part of why it took so long to get uh, to back, back around on all this. So I got to figure, I'm, I'm working out ways to make it so I don't make so many more mistakes uh, going forward because it's not fair to you to watch them and it's just lots of extra work for me and you know always trying to improve so anyways ace five count summary um, for shoe ace five went down by 101 units and the flat better went down by eight and a half in 43 hands Let's see, I don't have all my notes on this, but um, when I reviewed, um, I, I think the original video was, was, was a very similar result, and uh, or not the original video, but the original, the, the original results in the video were, were similar, and as it turned out, I had gotten the count wrong, and so it, it, it just kind of, it, it still got to a point where, where you suffered a lot. Um, and that's that's one thing I, I noticed as I went through everything and corrected places I had missed the count. That one, it's very easy uh, to miss the count, and if you do, it can really affect your outcome because uh, you know suddenly the, you're in the in your betting progression when maybe you shouldn't be. That that was, uh, or 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 vice versa. So. Um, Anyways, the result was about the same. Shoe number two, you got a lot of it back. You gained 61. Your running total here is is minus 40. It was a slightly better shoe. Just first first shoe, that was pretty bad. Um, three and a half units gained for the flat better, so a running total of minus five in 41 hands. Uh, if you remember, I've started to um, count back exactly one and a half decks for where I put the cut card rather than trying to put it in. So uh, we had been trying, we, we had been used to getting at least 45 hands per shoe. It doesn't look like we get that anymore. How, um, how much of a difference that makes, it's probably small, but again, I'm, I'm trying to uh, be a little more consistent. Shoe number three, again, uh, ace five gained eight, bringing the running total to a negative 32. Flat better gained um, five and a half. So now he's up by a half a unit. Actually, that should be in green. Okay, now it's in green. <laughs> um, in 43 hands. So, you know, even with this big gain of 61, the ace five seems to be trailing you know um, you 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 know the flat better should be expected to still be losing three shoes isn't really enough and you know it has worked off most of um, what it lost on that first shoe uh, shoe number four actually shoe number four made no mistakes uh, and as you see they both lost five the count never got to where you would put um, ace five into the progression. That isn't that isn't necessarily why there were no mistakes. I just happened to get it right. Anyways, running total for ace five is now minus thirty seven. Uh, flat better is minus four and a half. That was forty two hands. So as you can see, we're not getting to um, forty five anymore. I I, th I think forty two is going to start to be our uh, expected average. Shoe number five was a was a very good shoe. Uh, again, gaining 62 and a half, bringing the running total to 25 and a half. And you can see from the flat better results of gaining 20 and a half, bringing the running total to plus 16, that this was a very favorable shoe um, for both players. But you know, in particular, you 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 don't see it quite so much. So you gained 61 on plus 3.5 good shoe not great but to gain you know 20 units 
uh, flat bending, that's that's a lot in in 42 hands. So really, you're, this is you're almost making a half a unit per hand. That's that's pretty strong. Uh, shoe number six uh, again was a pretty good shoe, gaining 14 for the flat better. That's you know it's not 20, but that's very strong. If you've watched um, more of my videos and seen the other summaries, 14 is 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 pretty high, but only 10 for the Ace Five. So running total of 35 and a half and 30 for the flat better. So they're getting pretty close, pretty even here in 42 hands. Shoe number seven, again, very strong for ace five uh, of plus 49, bringing the running total to uh, 84 and a half, uh, 84 and a half unit gain. And for the flat better, going up six and a half units, running total of 36 and a half units in 43 hands. So first, you can see 42 hands is more or less pretty close to the average there, low 40s. Um, so this is our result, 84.5 units uh, for the Ace-5, 36.5 for the flat better. This is the first time that we have seen a in, in seven shoe series a strong lead by any, well I, I don't really want to call it a, a, I guess it is a betting strategy uh, because you're still changing your wagers. Uh, and it's interesting that it's employing uh, the counting. Let me just finish going through the sheet here. Um, this shows us the average, or the or the yeah the average gain or loss in this case gain per hand. So we had 296 hands. So if you you know gained 85, you're making 0.285 units per hand, and the flat better is making 0.123 units per hand. Okay, a um, couple of things I wanted to to note um, as I was doing this series, and if you watch them all, you you would hear me say things like, "Well, the count is really low, and we're halfway, whatever, two thirds of the way through the shoe. Is it time to sit out the shoe um, because you're not going to get to where?" you're most likely not going to get to where the count is going to get back to even and then to a count of plus two such that you would get into the progression. Um, a, a lot of people also commented that that yeah that's what that's what you could do or should do. At the same time in, in, in a similar mindset and this would go for any bet, betting strategy, even for flat betting. You would get up, you would go up, you would come down, you would go down, you would come up, you go down, you go down farther. That especially, you know, when you're when you're up, but it it might be smart to, or it would be smart, and I'm not sure how to to do that for these tests, is to set stop limits. If you're familiar with stock market trading, you'll know what that is. Is you know. You, you you take the price that you're at right now or, or your chip stack or gains or whatever you're at right now and if you go down any farther and you hit a certain threshold that you stop losing and you and you, you leave the table basically you stop you lose you you cut off your your chance of making any more gains but you don't lose anymore that that's an important concept I think uh, in gambling period. When you're up, cut your, you know, take take your wins and leave. I'm not sure, like I said, I'm not sure how to do that in these tests. Um, okay, so then you, let, let's look more at what we have here. When we have what I would consider a losing shoe, you know, because it's uh, based on what the flat better using basic strategy does, minus eight and a half, minus 101, minus five, minus 40, minus four and a half, minus 37. Uh, those were the losing shoes. And and this one, it was a middle of the line, middle of the road um, shoe, just basically break even, and you're looking at minus 32. Those are big, 
big losses, big divergences from what is happening uh, in here, right? It looks like the more you, the more the flat better loses, the more that Ace Five stands to lose. And when we look in the gaining shoes, plus 16 with plus 25, it's not quite double. Plus 30, plus plus 35 and a half. That's you know sl only slightly better. And 36 and a half to 84 and a half. That's a little more than double. But you know this is what, 12 times, this is eight times more, this is, you know, almost infinitely more, this is about eight times more. So I think what you have to, to do is, yes, you did end up uh, very high, but it just takes a couple of losing shoes, you're going to wipe that out. Now I'll stand by uh, these results as far as I said, this is the first time that we've seen uh, one that's, you know, significantly beat the, the flat better because that's only fair to all the other systems that in this sm ra small random sampling we have something that was doing better but let's temper that with you can wipe those out like that one shoe lose 101 again and you're out okay um, the things that I personally don't didn't like about Ace Five, and I and what I think is what gets you into trouble, is that when your count is two or greater, you are you doubling your bet up to your your maximum, which for us we use sixteen units. I don't I don't like that because the count is only plus two. So there's not that many more um, aces than fives that, that are going to help you, at least in, in the ratio. So to keep doubling your, you count as two, and you just keep doubling your bet over and over and over uh, without gaining a significant count advantage seems kind of risky. And, and I, I, that, that is where you start to, to pay the price up in here. It also gives you a chance to to make a lot should you be winning on those hands. But it, you know, like I'm saying, it's the count's not strong enough. Personally, how I would perhaps do it is increase your wager by the count. So when your count is two, you know, go to the the next step, of, which is double, and then on count is three, double again, and count is four, um, double. Your, your prior level again. So you're going to go 2, 4, 8, 16 that way based on the count. Would you go past 16? You know, that's that's uh, your choice to make just the same as setting any limit on this at all. Um, okay, so then another thing that personally, I, okay, so I just um, I just got back from a cruise and I go to the casinos on the cruises. The tables aren't the best. It's it's uh, the tables I play. The lower tables, um, under twenty five dollars, is a six to five blackjack, and they're using the continuous shuffle machines. And the the machines don't really bother me so much. It totally takes counting out of the mix. Um, but what I noticed is, you know, the casinos in on chips are they're good size, but there's a limited number of tables. It's Unless you're playing at a higher limit, you're not going to have the table to yourself. There's going to it's often going to be full, five players. Um, so, I, I while I was there, I was in in the mind of, can I count? Can I even do an ace five count here? And obviously, it was the shuffle machine, but just kind of for fun. Personally, in that environment. Uh, I can't. I don't think I could do it, and I cert, I'm fairly sure that I would also not be able to do any other of the of the card counting methods because they are more complex than this. Here, you just have to count aces and fives, and even here at the um, Eight of Spades Studio Casino, I have a, I have trouble doing that. Now, put me uh, in a live situation with slot machines uh, dinging in the background with 
you know, four other players um, that you kind of chit chat with and, you know, who say, oh, hey, what does the book say to do here? Or, you know, you know, trying to have fun, looking over at the craps table to see what they're all yelling about. If you've been in a casino, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot of things going on. I, I don't think I could do it. Um, especially, and, you know, and remembering to where I am in my bets and, and, and all that sort of thing, perhaps with practice. Um, so I don't, you know, if counting works for you, and I, I know that for a lot of you, um, it does, uh, good. You know, maybe, you know, if you're in a, probably in Vegas, you can probably find, and I know when I've played in Vegas, I've been able to play by myself or, or maybe with one other player, but, uh, and, and obviously from a shoe. So maybe you can do it, but you also have to remember you have to uh, not let the casino catch on to what you're doing. Because if they do realize that you're counting, and maybe you know maybe they don't care about Ace Five, um, but you know maybe they do. And if they ask you to leave, you, um, you know, it's it's not going to you know you you just got to be careful on. On, on how you do it, you know, when you when I do the videos, I go, oh, an ace, oh, a five, I gotta go and mark it on my sheet. So, anyways, um, so you know, let me just be clear. Despite the fact that uh, the ace five bested flat betting in our seven, seven shoe series, uh, I'm not endorsing it. I'm not. I'm not uh, saying that this is the only way. To, this is the way to go. It's the only way to go. Take my advice. No, no, no. That's not what I'm saying. Uh, Regular viewers know I say don't even go to the casino, but you're going to. I'm going to. I'm not going to use this. Like I said, I can't. I can't do it. I can't concentrate that much, at least not while having a good time. Um, I don't go to the casino for uh, for my income. I go because I like to play. I like to have fun. Uh, I like to socialize with strangers and have some camaraderie you know, of, you know, beat the house, you know, dealer bust, everyone gets excited. So, um, uh, so just to be clear, I'm, but so if anybody wants to go out and, and, uh, play ace five and, and lose your house, that's on you. It's not a, it's not on me. Okay. Anyways, um, I hope, uh, hope you enjoyed this. I'm sorry for the, the problems and the delay, but I think I got it right. I took the time. Uh, going forward, I'm going to try to find ways to to ensure that I don't have those problems. Uh, it it will probably result in the sh in the shoes being played more slowly. Uh, I'll probably try to track things better. I also want to. I actually do want to track things. I want to form like graphs of of your wins and losses throughout the shoe. And so uh, I got to still figure out how to do that but that would I think that would help us here like oh we see we were down 101 right were we at any point up and perhaps at a, a place where we would instigate a stop loss and then before we you know went down down the pit or or um, you know I don't remember right now were we down even farther and worked our way back up I actually don't think that was the case you know and, and, and same with these were we up higher and then we pulled back some like you know did let's say we put our um upper limit at 50 and then when we hit 50 we set a trigger that yeah we'll keep playing as long as we're winning uh but as soon as we drop below then we're gonna stop and so something like you know the like a trailing stop uh if you're again if you're familiar with the stock market you might know that where Okay, so at 50, if I hit 50, then I put in my trigger, and if I keep going up, that's great, but I'll just trail up so that my stop will go higher. So as if, I, if, I'm at, um, if I get to 60, let's say my stop is at 55. If, my, if I get to 65, my, my stop moves up with it to 60. So I'm always five units behind. Allow myself to go up a little uh, but then if I take a loss and that and actually five might not work when you're when you're wagering 16 But something along those lines Okay, uh, anyways, it's good to be back and um, See you soon
Thanks. Bye.